What's going on everyone? Before we jump in with Daffy Duck and Wile E. Coyote and everybody else in the Looney Tunes universe, I just wanted to say a quick hello and thank you for watching this. This game is essentially us stealth stealing sheep as Wile E. Coyote and trying not to get bopped by Sam the Sheepdog. This kind of works out in a game show format and it lands up being a lot of fun. It's more of a strategy puzzle game if you will. But there also seems to be racing in here as well as some other hidden collectibles that we should be trying for as it seems a lot of fun. What is Wiley e. Coyote swinging around? Looks like a ghost. Even in cartoons, they had better better they had better ethics than today. When the work is done, the work is done. We'll try again tomorrow. say do we hit a train we just went down to one road or one lane took the entire road Why, yes you have, Daffy. Yes, we will practice because it counts as a sheep. All right, this is where our sheep go. Guessing achievements. And save, easy. And this one's quite literally labeled training zone, level zero. It's even leveled, or A level. But yeah, the thing that reminded me of this game is when we were doing some of the Spyro stuff with the sheep in the beginning, I was like triggered by some sort of deep memory in my brain where I remembered this tutorial specifically. Well, not tutorial, because 
I don't know if this is the level, but um, the demo that they gave you in the game, just, I liked it a lot. And hopefully I can remember which one it is, and yeah. Try and get the secrets as we go along, and hopefully try not to make this too dragging or too long for you guys. Uh, extended use of this game can drive even the most serious people crazy. <laughs> Are you sure you want to play this game? Yes. We warned you to start the to start cross the white line. We got it. Oh, jeez. No. Oh. We died already. Okay. It's just Acme being that Acme. Didn't work too well. Follow me, and I'll explain a few commands. First things first. How to use the camera? I'm right behind you. Just use the L2 and R2 buttons to move the camera. Now I'll hide up here. If you want to find me, keep the inside view button pressed down. Nice going, bub. These commands will come in handy if you want to look around. It's like, I'll probably end up using that more than I will L2 R2. If you want to follow me, and who wouldn't, use the jump button and just do what I'm doing. If you want to jump higher, Press the button a second time when you are at the highest point of your jump. Works like a charm. Double jump. The best ability in the world. <laughs> Might I also suggest you use the jump button to take a flying leap. The hell? Okay. <laughs> Give me a little bit of a jump scare. I was expecting that. You want to know how to win? When you cross the starting line, you'll get a limited amount of time to finish the race. To do this, press steadily on the run button to increase your speed. If you run fast enough, you'll be able to stay suspended in midair for a short period of time. This will come in handy to get over precipices. Fancy word for cliffs. A little sensitive. That's not too bad. Oh, is it a timer? Okay. Oh, I thought they were going to clip me. Not beat Roadrunner, got it. That's a trap. What? I did it. All right. I knew you could do it. You'll probably be able to challenge Roadrunner later in the game. If you're up for it. I'm down for it, but I doubt it. To help you steal sheep from Sam Sheepdog, you will be given several objects. But wait, there's more. You also gotta know how to use objects in the background. To open the gate, the red button has to be pressed. Just jump on the first seesaw, and the big rock will throw you to the other side. 
Then, jump on the second seesaw to launch the little rock towards the button so that the gate remains open. Confused yet? Me too. <laughs> I mean, it was a long-winded explanation, but I understood it. As long as we hit the targets, this should be pretty easy. Don't jinx it. Oh, he gave it to me, thank goodness. I was like, that doesn't count. I'm, I'm done. <sighs> Listen, if you want to get sheep and make a plan, you have to use your inventory. First, press the select button, which will show you the level's map and the objects available to you. To get an object, you have to order it by opening a letterbox. If you want to know in which letterbox you have to order a specific object, select it in your inventory, and a red circle will appear around the letterbox, which means it's yours. The objects drawn in white are the ones you can find in the level. The colored objects are those you already collected and can use. And if that's not enough, you can also look at the object's user guide for instructions on how to use it. So come on, try out your inventory and order an object from a letterbox. Today! Batteries not included. Of course not. Comes in like a care package and um... How do I use it? Oh, I was not expecting a spiral flying section. Okay. X is to deactivate, don't press that. Can we go faster? We can. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, we can go a lot faster. I want to know what that red bar is, though. Damn, you can zoom through here. Hey, 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 good for you. That's way better than the spiral sections. To finish each level, you must be in the goal with the sheep. In fact, you have to both be in the goal, or the challenge doesn't count. And that would be despicable. You said it, Daffy. And that's a wrap, right? That should be definitely done, because I got the sheep in the hole, or the ring, whatever. And it looks like the game's actually 16 levels, not 17. And one more victory! Uh, thank you, thank you. Now, oh, where does one go? Ooh, what's this in the corner? Can't look at it. Okay. Oh, is it the stage? I was like, damn, they, they got everybody hiding in the stands. But let's move on to the next level, which I imagine is the first door.
just realized Daffy's wearing his best impression of like. Listen, if you don't want to be seen by Sam Sheepdog, here's some free advice. First, when you see this icon appear, it means that you are close to Sam's area. The icon helps you see where Sam is looking. If it's in front of you, it means that Sam is looking in your direction. When the icon is green, it means that you are close to Sam's area, but the good news is, he can't see or hear you. When the icon is orange, it means that you're in Sam's area, so be quiet and everything will be okay. When the icon is red, it means you're in big trouble, pal, cause Sam saw you and you'd better get out. Your best bet is to press the stealth button. If you don't, Sam will hear you when you enter his area. Cool. But I did see a cave. Yeah. <sighs> Holy shit. I thought I almost killed myself right off the bat. Reminds me of the damn Eminem game. Time clock, activate it, and you win a bonus point. Oh, that was fun. Cool. Just gotta make it back now. Alright, now we can actually begin the game. What's this way? Mailbox and a scope. TNT? Yeah. Uh, if you've already used an item, you can come back and get another one. Got it. Sheep. Sheep dog. House. If anything, it looks like the sheep like right behind him would be the easiest. Oh, that's that makes sense. Let's use the TNT on this, right? Go. What do you say? Bridge one person at a time. Well, I'm one person. Okay. Are you a farmer? Are you a porky pig? Hi, I'm a farmer. Oh, porky. farmer porky. Steel shams is a block. Good luck. I grow all kinds of vegetables, and I know Sam sheep well. If, if for instance, I know you can uh, lead a sheep if you show it some uh, lettuce. If you do this, uh, y you won't have to uh, carry them. Uh, come back with your sheep, and I'll show you how to use a uh, le 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 leafy vegetable. Uh, okay. As much as I would appreciate that, Porky, I don't think I need the tutorial on lettuce. Yeah, I feel like they're giving me an easy setup for this one. Can you tiptoe with a sheep? You can't. You go much slower, though. But I think we are golden. Yep. Is sheep really that heavy? Does it count like another person? Damn. Oh, at least we get to keep it. Damn, that's a good checkpoint. Uh, you, you managed to take a sheep from the flock. Well done. And now. I'll show you how to use the uh, uh, lettuce intelligently. Is <laughs> the Sam sheep? Uh, you love it. 
All you have to do is leave some next to its sheet. It'll go toward it all on its own to eat it. But be careful not to place your lettuce too far away, or it won't be able to see it. To know whether you're close enough before putting the lettuce down, check whether this icon is displayed. You can also place bits of lettuce all along the path. The sheep will move from a bit to a bit, but don't place them too far apart, otherwise the sheep may stop on the way. So, don't forget to check for this icon before placing any lettuce. It'll tell you whether it's close enough. Does any of that make sense? Are you following me? Yeah. Do you get it? Cause I get it though. I am happy for the tutorial, because I did not know about the little boxes, and I'm glad I got it. Hey, 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 I need this. You don't. You prick. So I'm guessing I have to bait said sheep across. That should work. Everything's in range. I would have laughed if he followed me and just broke the bridge. Come here, you. See this lettuce? Eat it. It's your freedom. Cool. Now that I listen to the music, it really sounds like some old school porno jazz Cinemax stuff. <laughs> there we go. Come on, bud. Let's finish this level up. That was a nice clean run. Well, honestly, that was a nice clean run. Didn't even get spotted by Sam, but I kind of considered it a freebie because it's level one. They got to teach you how to use lettuce, I guess. And that's how we get the second level. Okay. And there you go. See if I can get a better look around. I just wanted to give me a, a 360. Oh, I can talk to Daffy. Let's see what he says. Come on, don't be a quitter. Uh, uh, okay. Thing of Marvin Martian was in the crowd or anybody else I recognized. Well, anywho guys, sorry, but I just wanted to take another quick peek around and see if there's anything I missed. But I am gonna wrap up the episode here for today. I hope you guys have been enjoying this game so far. I know it's a simple puzzle strategy game, but with the Looney Tunes involved, I kind of enjoy it, and rather the old school comedy of the whole thing is is nice. But as it has been already stated, there are now 15 levels left. We've already completed the tutorial and level one, and we will push on for another two levels, maybe three, depending on the time. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button as it helps out a bunch. Every time you do, my dog Doja gets a treat, and I'm sure he would appreciate that greatly. And until next time, take it easy, 
and peace.